There are about 90 drawings here at the Tsugai Pictograph Cave on the island of Rhoda, where people from around the world visit to witness. It's handprints like these ones right up here that they're believed to be placed by the artists which drew these drawings over 2,000 years ago. Our journey to the cave site started at the Rhoda Airport. A 20-minute drive starting on a paved road and fading into the jungle brought us to the entrance of a short hike down to the cave site. Historic Preservation Office technician Vincent Meskun and HBO coordinator Eloy Azuzu have been doing this work for decades. The path leading to the cave site was the old Japanese railroad which was used to transport sugarcane. According to uh, you know, the archaeologists that conducted the survey here, uh, this cave was uh, uh, occupied by the uh, Japanese civilians as well as the soldiers uh, right during the onset of World War II. As you can see, you know, the wooden planks here, uh, these are makeshift beds uh, put against the wall. And we have uh, uh, different bottles, uh, sake bottles, uh, pots and pans. They have their uh, washing basins and uh, other uh, small bottles like medicines. But these drawings predate that period. A local resident rediscovered the cave in 1994 and notified HPO of its location. The graphs, ancient drawings uh, are very rare in the Marianas. Uh, I know they have Guam, Saipan, and Rhoda, and it's very rare you know, to find uh, drawings in the cave. And uh, luckily, Rhoda has three uh, locations that, you know, that we can find uh, ancient drawings as well as the uh, what you call uh, petroglyph. Uh, this is a uh, carving on the walls. You can see fish, human figures, fruit bats, and turtles clearly drawn on all of the cave's walls. The drawings are painted in a black, dark gray, and brown color, a mix of bird manure, tree sap, and charcoal. Researchers believe the drawings are associated with ancestral worship, used to speak with ancestors who've passed on. Some of it you know, are pretty obvious. Uh, we can really tell what, what they really are. But uh, the others, uh, we just don't, uh, cannot tell you know, what uh, the representations are. Uh, we're trying to bring in experts you know, uh, uh, with uh, pictographs so they can really decipher what they really mean. And um, this cave, you know, I would say that it's a million years uh, a cave, and uh, it's been occupied by the ancient Chamorros in uh, about 2,000 years, and uh, it's been suggested that uh, it's associated with uh, the Latin period. The local government maintains the site, helping to keep these stories alive. Besides the water coming from the top, and it's dripping down, uh, you know, uh, to the drawings, uh, they start to fade away, and the other thing is uh, the groups of people that are coming in here, uh, uh, as you know, the, we breathe uh, oxygen and we uh, exhale uh, carbon dioxide, and that's why we're limiting uh, uh, groups in here, uh, groups of people, uh, like the students, so like, you know, 10 each group, so we can really uh, prevent the drawings from fading away also. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Tsugai Pictograph Cave, Rhoda.